Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and as you can see today we are trying to capture Season 2 plus Elite Bear. Um, as you can know, Elite uh, Behemoths are way stronger than normal ones. Uh, of course, like it depends from which season the Behemoth is. I'm on the last season, Season 2 plus, so it will be way way stronger. Also, I need to mention that uh, we have like a lot of uh, tier 5 players currently uh, with us. So I'm not looking for like damage uh, meters or something like this. Uh, simply, it will be amazing if we will be able to kill it as soon as possible. Because we all are going to get some frames, right? Uh, as you can see, we are not even on the charging phase. And as you can see, most important... Uh, phase for beer is to avoid charges as you can see this was the main mechanic you need to avoid those charges uh, or you will get stunned your uh, legion will be destroyed and it will be useless then it will be uh, on rage and you won't gonna able to kill the bear as you can see with tier 5 players it's way easier to do anything in this game and it's like a speed run it looks like a speed run but it's an elite bear. Of course, whenever you have a lot of tier 5 players, uh, it helps, generally. And yeah, like it's, it's one of my easiest uh, runs on the elite bear. Simply we are standing and the tier 5 players and all the players are doing damage. Hopefully, there won't be any kind of mistakes with the charges. Uh, and we are going to destroy the bear as soon as possible while we are doing it like most important uh, aspect to defeat the bear like normal or elite is to avoid this kind of charge as you can see everybody is running everybody tries to avoid one guy uh, got caught but it's fine what's important is not a lot of guys should get caught uh, during the running phase that's like the main mechanic about uh, bear in general so like if you are watching the video in, in terms of knowing uh, the guide about the killing the bear or normal or elite bear just avoid the charges okay if you're gonna avoid the charge everything will be fine you will stay alive you're gonna deal a lot of damage and your alliance will be happy as you can see we almost avoided every single charge everything went pretty smoothly uh, we defeated this elite bear pretty easily uh, like not a real problem right but remember like if you are especially low level and you don't have a lot of tier 5 friends tier 5 uh, alliance members who aren't gonna deal a lot of damage as you can see like i'm nowhere near close to tier 5 players right uh so yeah that was pretty easy even though we got like elite bear like uh Elite trade completed within zero, like four, 4 minutes and 50 seconds. Uh, yeah, I was 22th from the uh, guys of my alliance members, and mostly like this is tier 5, he's tier 5, tier 5, tier 5, tier 5. So mostly top 15, top 10 are like uh, tier 5 players. So I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, it was pretty easy. Uh, I would uh, recommend you guys to take Elite uh, Bear and Elite uh, Behemoth if you have not got the frames. And especially if you have tier 5 players who are going to help you a lot. So, uh, yep, yeah, that was all I wanted to show you. I thought it, it would be a lot harder. Uh, but uh, it was pretty easy. Widow video became really, really short. But at least we saw some gameplay. Uh, what was important for you guys to understand that uh, most important uh, like mechanic to defeat the behemoth, uh, the giant bear, is to avoid the march. If you're gonna avoid the march, it will be easy for you even without tier 5 players to uh, defeat it even an elite one and that's like of course normal one will be easily defeatable. So... It was uh, the small, smallest guide how to defeat the elite bear. Um, I hope, like you saw, what was the main mechanic. Like my side, myself, I saw that my tier five players have a lot of damage. Um, yeah, but anyways, hope you're gonna like the video. Uh, I'm gonna continue doing what I have been done already for past eight months. So yeah, 
Thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna continue uploading videos almost every day. Uh, soon I'm going to start this series regarding War Pets one by one. I have already done it, but regard like it got changed a lot. The skills in like in general War Pets, the attributes. So it's time to update the War Pet guides, and I, I hope you will like the ideas which I will have in the future regarding the. YouTube channel and the videos of the Call of Dragons. So far, I'm really liking the game. I have been liking the game since the beginning. I I don't have uh, like negative thoughts simply because because I'm the one who is playing the game, uh, and I don't want to ruin my fun by myself with the negative thoughts. So uh, I think uh, game is going to the progressive way. Everything is getting more and more positive. A lot a lot more people are starting to play the game. So if you are just a beginner. Uh, trust me, it's a long run. Uh, Call of Dragons will be around uh, many, many years, and a lot of players will come uh, in and out uh, like it's a normal cycle of the every game. So, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna see you soon. Bye bye.